Dear students, in this video, I am going to discuss principle of flame photometry. Before starting principle, we will see introduction. Flame photometry is a type of atomic spectroscopy. It is also known as flame atomic emission spectroscopy. Atomic spectroscopic techniques are introduced by Bernson and Kierhoff in 1855 and 1860. They showed that the radiations emitted from flame depends on characteristic element present in flame. It means that the color of flame depends on the element burning in it. If metal elements are burning in flame, flame will have very characteristic color. For example, if we burn sodium metal in flame, flame will burn with golden yellow color. Flame test performed in inorganic chemistry is based on the same fact. Types of atomic spectroscopy. There are three types. First is atomic absorption spectroscopy that is AS. Second is flame atomic emission spectroscopy that is flame photometry. And third is luminescence spectroscopy. Flame photometry is generally used to detect alkali metals group 1 metals like sodium, potassium, lithium etc and alkaline earth metals that is group 2 elements like calcium, magnesium, barium etc. The samples analyzed by flame photometry are generally soil samples, water samples and food samples in which presence of these group 1 and group 2 element is detected. Flame is very important in this technique. In this technique, sample solution is sprinkled in the flame and allowed to vaporize. After vaporization, solid metal element will convert into gaseous metal atoms. Due to thermal heat of flame, gaseous metal atoms will get excited and start emitting radiations. This emission of radiation is basis of flame photometry. Flame photometry is based upon measurement of intensity of light emitted by metal. The color of light will tell us how much metal is present. Color means wavelength of light will tell us uh, which metal is present. And intensity of light, intensity of color will tell us how much metal is present. Now we will go for principle in detail. We will see step by step. First step is sample solution is aspirated in a low temperature flame. Droplets of this sample solution will get evaporated in the flame giving rise to a solid residue of sample. This solid residue gets evaporated and solid sample molecule will convert into gaseous sample molecule due to flame temperature. Further, these gaseous molecules will dissociate to give gaseous neutral metal atom. These metal atoms are at ground state. These gaseous neutral metal atoms which are at ground state will absorb thermal energy of flame and due to this absorption of energy, their electrons will go to the excited state. As we know, excited state is unstable and that's why the electrons will return to the ground state by emitting absorbed energy in the form of radiation. This emitted radiation is the basis of flame photometry. These emitted radiations are measured by detector. Now we'll see same thing diagrammatically and with a example in the next slide. Here sample solution we will take the sample of sodium chloride. Sodium chloride solution is taken and it is aspirated in the flame due to which the droplets will produce in the flame. Now due to flame temperature, the solvent will get evaporated and solid residue of NaCl will remain in the flame. This solid NaCl will get vaporized in the flame and gaseous NaCl molecules will be produced. The next thing is thermal dissociation of this gaseous NaCl molecule. 
this NaCl will get dissociated due to flame temperature and ground state sodium metal atoms will be produced. Na will get dissociated from Cl and ground state sodium metal atoms are produced. Now this ground state sodium metal atoms which, are, which is in gaseous form they will absorb thermal energy of flame and they will convert into excited gaseous sodium metal atom. Now the thermal energy is absorbed by the electron of this metal atom and this electron will go to the excited state. But as we know excited state is unstable and that's why the electron will emit this absorbed energy in the form of light and the atom will return to the ground state. This emitted energy, this emitted radiation is the basis of flame photometry and the emitted light is measured by detector. The amount of light emitted is proportional to the number of metal atoms present in flame. That means the amount of emitted light is directly proportional to the concentration of metal atom in sample solution. The emitted light can be isolated from other light like light of flame by the optical filters or monochromators. The amount of light emitted is measured by detector. Now this is the principle of flame photometry. We will go for some uh, metal atoms which give different colored lights. Sodium when it is heated it will give yellow colored light whose wavelength is 589 nanometer. Potassium when it is heated it will give violet colored light with 766 nanometer. Barium when it is heated it will give lime green colored light with 55 4 nanometer wavelength. Calcium will give brick red colored light with 662 nanometer wavelength and lithium will give red colored light with 670 nanometer wavelength. So this is the principle of flame photometry. I hope you understood these concepts. So thank you for watching my video. Thank you very much.